Hello everybody, hope you're doing great today. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to buy government bonds via the Treasury Direct website. Why would you wanna buy government bonds? Right now, the interest rates are much higher with the Federal Reserve raising interest rates. The government bonds that the government sells in order to raise funds for operations have gone up. So interest rates in the past where you've had very low interest rate on these government bonds, low ones to even lower than that, they are now much higher. Government does also sell I-bonds, which includes a fixed interest rate as well as a rate based on the rate of inflation. So the government does limit I-bond purchases to 10,000 per year per individual. With that though, you can buy if you're married, your spouse and yourself can set up a separate account. You can also set up accounts for any children you have under the age of 18. And for each of those accounts, the limit is $10,000. So it's a great way to get a high interest bond from the government. So here we can see on the Treasury Direct website. The Series I savings bond is currently paying 6.89%. Now that number will adjust based on the rate of inflation. So if inflation goes down, then that number will go down. If inflation goes up like it was in the past, that number was higher. So last year, sometime uh, mid, early mid last year, the number was in the 9% nine, 9 range for the percentage of interest they were paying back on those bonds. So with the I bonds, it's good for 30 years. You can hold it up to 30 years, but you can redeem it earlier if you prefer. As they mentioned here on the website, the inflation rate can change and usually does every six months. They set the rate of inflation that's gonna be based on the percentage for the interest that they'll be paying on May, May 1st and November 1st. And it's based on the CPI. So when it comes to cashing in the Series I bond, it explains right here, you can cash in your bond after 12 months. However, if you cash the bond in in less than five years time of holding, you'll lose the last three months of interest. Uh, example, if you cash in your bond after 18 months, you get the first 15 months of interest, you would forfeit that three months of interest. The government also sells EE bonds, and these are a low, low risk way to save money. EE bonds regularly earn interest for 30 years or until you cash them in early. And the current rate of the EE bonds is 2.2%. 1-0%, which is not that uh, high. Similar with the Series I bond, you can cash in the EE after 12 months. However, if it's you held it for less than three years, you'll lose the last three months of interest. Similar with the I bonds, the EE bonds, you can buy max up to $10,000 per year. The advantage for both of these bonds, the I and the EE, is you'll, you will, while you will pay federal income tax, you do not pay state and local in income tax on those bonds. With both I bonds and the EE bonds, you can't buy it in an IRA or Roth IRA account. You're buying directly from the Treasury Direct website, which is a government website. They only allow individuals to purchase directly for themselves and not in any IRA account. Another advantage of purchasing bonds when compared to other investment types is it's considered a risk-free return, meaning the government's not gonna default on their debt. They have the money, they, they can print the money to pay, that, that, pay back that debt versus your other investments. The stock market has been down recently. Some real estate investments, The when you look at the cap rates, which is basically the rate of return, especially in some of the commercial deals, you might see cap rates in the four or 5% range. And in multifamily investment, if your cap rates are low, four to 5%, why risk your cash in that real estate investment when you can get that same risk-free rate of return by purchasing government bonds? While there are some tax benefits to owning real estate, you have to weigh that against the expenses of owning real estate, management fees, any repair expenses, tenant damage, what have you, versus with your savings bonds, you can get a pretty good rate of return on your money without any of that risk, without any of that hassle. To send that money directly to the, the government via the Treasury Direct website and buy those bonds. You can also buy bonds through your broker website. Your stockbroker will not be selling the I or the WE bonds, but they do have other Treasury bonds. They're called marketable securities or marketable bonds. Basically, you can buy those bonds, but they also have a feature where you can sell them on the open market to somebody else who wants to buy those bonds. You can hold until maturity, which means until the bond is mature, it's ready to pay out in which case you will get the, the full value of the bond. If you sell prior to the bond maturing, you will get some value less than that face value of the bond. And that depends on what current buyers are willing to pay for that bond. So in order to buy Series I bond directly from the government, you will need to go to the treasurydirect.gov government website. And if you're new to this website, you've never registered at this website before, the first thing you wanna do is click on open a new account. Once you've gone through that process, you've opened a new account, then you're gonna log into the website. Being a government website, the website is a little clunky, so it takes a little effort to get in. So with the great interest rate they offer, it's helpful to go through that process, jump through all the hoops, get onto the website, and 
start your process for buying those I bonds. So once you've logged into the website, you've got a bunch of options over here. The My Account shows your current account value. Buy Direct is when you want to purchase some bonds from the government. And the Manage Direct is where you're going to want to start if you haven't already. And that's basically setting up your linked financial accounts. So what, what accounts do you want connected? Where, you want that, where do you want that money drawn from? So for example, over here, I use my, my personal checking account, draw money from there. And especially if you're buying the marketable securities from here, what the website will do is once that security matures, they will automatically put that money back into your account. And with this page too, you can also transfer your securities. If you want to transfer them to a brokerage account, you want to transfer money here. If you have, you have cash staying in there, you want to you pull that out. You can use this, uh, the Manage Direct link right here. When you purchase those short-term marketable securities or any other securities within that three month to 30 year period, anytime those mature, you get that cash back, the bond is paid out. This website is gonna send that money directly back to the account that you have linked in there and that you specified that this is my, this is the account that I want the money sent to. You can add multiple accounts in there if you'd like. So that way, when, you, when a security does mature, when a bond does mature, you can have that money sent directly back to a particular account. In this case too, you can buy gifts. Like I mentioned, if you want to set up accounts for your kids, you can set up accounts here. You can set up parent, uh, parent owned account for your kids, and then you can buy, buy bonds for them. You can also buy bonds for even adults, for other, other people. There are your limits in there. So you'll need to, to look at those limits. When you are ready to buy, you want to go to the buy direct link over here. And as you can see the top, choices here are the marketable securities. We're going to skip that for now. I'll cover that in a different video. These are the savings bonds that you're looking at here, the series double E and the series I. And so in this case, we're interested in the series I. So once you click on that, hit the submit button, it will take you to the next step. And as you can see here, the annual limit is $10,000. So per year, if you want to, if you want to put in $10,000 right away, you can do that now. If you wanted to do it over time, just to see how the uh, interest payout is adjusting, if, if it starts going down due to the inflation rate going down, then you might want to put less money into this type of bond. So the minimum amount you can purchase a bond for is $25. There's no fee for it. Whatever, if you're putting $25 in, if you're putting $10,000 in, that's what you're putting in, and you're not, gonna have, you're not gonna be paying any extra fees on top of that. For this purchase, I'm just gonna do it for $100 right now, and you can go Select purchase frequency here. If you want to do a single purchase today, for instance, you can do repeated purchases, weekly basis. Obviously it has to be within that $10,000 limit. It can't go above that limit. And then you can, if you want, you can also schedule based on your own type of uh, schedule. If you want to do it based on your pay, you're expecting bonuses, you get commission checks, you get a quarterly bonus. You can, you can set it uh, in this section right here. So we're going to hit submit button and then it's going to tell me series I savings bond purchase amount hundred dollars. It's the source of funds. That's the name of my bank. It's going to tell the last four digits of my account number. And it's going to tell me that the purchase will be on the next available business day, which is in this case, it's uh, February 7th, which is tomorrow. And there's some other, other notice, notice information here. You must wait five business days after the purchase date to transfer a savings bond or deliver a gift savings bond. So assuming everything is done, you're, you're certifying all the above here, one through four. And then just hit the submit button. And here is the confirmation. It's letting me know it went through and that's it. And I just checked my personal email address. I did get an email confirming the transaction went through that they put the order in. So I would always recommend once you hit the submit, once you get that confirmation notice there on the screen, go check your email, make sure you get it over there that way there are any issues, you can trace it down, figure out, okay, something didn't, didn't go right. Maybe hit submit too soon. You missed something. You can go back and fix that issue. So this is a great way to save money, you know, put at least up to $10,000 per year per person uh, in your family. You can, that number can add up, get a good return on your investment dollar without having to worry about risk, not have to pay state, local taxes, just pay federal taxes. And as long as the inflation rate is high, it's going to 
bring in extra money for you. What are your thoughts? Do you invest in government securities? Do you invest in government bonds? What type of bonds have you purchased? Are you purchasing bonds through this website, Treasury Direct, or are you, or are you purchasing other government bonds through your brokerage account? Do you think the interest rate and the benefits of the I bond are worth it? Drop your comments in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe to this video. And I thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video.